Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I'm going to demonstrate how to publish a Node.js app to AWS Code Artifact. I have logged into my AWS Management Console. First, let's go and verify whether the user using which I have logged in have the necessary permission to access the AWS Code Artifact. I have logged in as Kavita. So this has the administrator access. It can access the AWS code artifact. In case if you are going to use a user which doesn't have the administrator access, you need to give the necessary access to access the AWS code artifact. For that, click add permissions, click add permissions, and then attach policies directly. Go and search for the code artifact. So you, you have two policies defined for the code artifact one with admin access and one with the read-only access provide the appropriate access to that user now let us go to the code artifact click code artifact first we need to create a repository click create repository let's give the repository name as demo and here we have an option to select the public upstream repositories so basically is this code artifact it acts as an intermediary between your public repositories and your uh, repository so we are going to use the uh, npm so let's uh, select the npm store as the uh, upstream repository click next so we need to select an account aws account so let's give the domain name also demo and here we have the additional configuration you'll be able to use the aws manage key or the customer manage key we will use aws manage key click next so this is how it flows from the external connections npm js it flows to our upstream repository npm store and then that data will come to our repository that is a demo repository okay now click create repository so the repository has been successfully created click view connection instructions so I am going to access this repo from my Mac system. So Mac and Linux is select. Now we need to select the package manager client. Since we are going to publish a Node.js application, obviously it is NPM, click NPM, right? So now we need to select the two configuration method. So there is one method which is like manual method and the other method is the uh, recommended method. This is configured using the AWS CLI, okay? So in this demo, we will go with the, the manual method to push and pull from the repository. First, we need to export this code artifact auth token and this token expires in 12 hours. It has been exported. Now let's copy the configuration to the home directory or project npmrc file if it doesn't exist. Let's copy this. Let's go to the home folder. Let's create a new npmrc file. Let's paste the content what we have copied. Next step is let's go to the application folder. So this is where my application is there. So now let me do an npm install. So now let me run this application and check once. So it's running on port 8080. So we can see that the application is successfully running. So now let us publish this application. npm publish. The application is getting published to the AWS code artifact. So now the node.js application has been successfully published to the aws code artifact let's go and validate that repositories so we can see there is a demo repository and see the node.js application which we published is now available in the aws code artifact click the package name you can see the version latest version and what is the status and the description and the published date and what is the format and what is the license all these information you will be able to see here in this demo we have seen how to create a repository in the aws code artifact 
and publish a Node.js application to the AWS Code Artifact. Thanks for watching the demo.